Boruto Chapter 77 Review titled Time Drawing Near. This chapter is arguably the greatest in all of Boruto in my opinion just for the fact of how much it fleshes out Kawaki's character. And Kawaki is personally my favorite character in the entire Boruto series. Also, let's get out of the way of how much Ikimoto never misses one of these cover arts. Amazing cover page. Now let's get into the review. The chapter opens up with Kawaki confronting Boruto. Because we all know at the end of last chapter, Kawaki is now aware of the fact that Momoshiki is still living inside of Boruto's body and Boruto can communicate with him. After a little bit of confrontation, Kawaki yelling at Momoshiki inside of Boruto to no response. He takes Boruto and just throws him away and says, don't mind me, I'm just going on a minor errand. I have to take care of something. Boruto immediately reports this to Shikamaru and Shikamaru contacts the sensory unit. But to no surprise, Kawaki erased his chakra signal and also used Sukuna Hikona, which struck him down to a microscopic size, making it virtually impossible to find him. We cut back to Code in the other dimension, where he's multiplying the Tentails into the Tentails army. Right now, he's currently at a thousand. And he plans to expand his army into a much larger number. They have not revealed it yet, but he's probably going to pull up with like 100,000 or a million or some shit. Daemon also pulls up onto Himawari, to which Himawari just cowers in fear. And Daemon's surprised to this because he senses a hidden power inside of her that even he's terrified of. In his very own words, in a shocked expression, what was that intensity I just felt? So back when Himawari got mad for her teddy bear being ripped in half and her knocking on Naruto, that might have actually not been a joke. We then cut back to Kawaki pulling up to the Naruto household, to which Naruto instantly notices something's wrong because Kawaki should be on his mission right now, but instead he's at his house. Kawaki then thanks Naruto again for saving his life, to which Naruto replies this again, stop it, it's getting creepy. Kawaki again starts showing his obsession over Naruto, saying he would do anything to protect him, even die without a second thought. And his current mission is killing every last Otatsuki, starting with Boruto, because he knows Momoshiki's inside of him. Kawaki said when he found out that he failed to kill Boruto, he thought of himself as a failure. That he had a sense of guilt because he didn't get to finish his job that he's putting his life towards now currently. Hinata then just bitch slaps Kawaki. Hinata calls him crazy and then you're right, maybe I am crazy, only a crazy person would kill their brother. But he says this is the conclusion that I've come to and there's really no other way. I don't care if it means you hating me. I'm going to kill your son, and I know you're not going to let that happen, so I'm teleporting you away to another dimension. And once the job's done, I'll get you back. And then you can decide what you want to do with me then. If you want to kill me, so be it. But right now, this is what I'm setting out to do. The chapter then ends with the Uzumaki family photo just showing shattered on the ground. This obviously representing that the family's being broken apart. And yeah, this chapter was phenomenal. 10 out of 10. Best chapter.